Welcome to Idle Lecture Online and here to get a better understanding yet of how to deal with sample distributions we have one more example here. This one example again deals with kindergarten children. Kindergarten children have heights at an average of 39 inches with a standard deviation of plus or minus uh, 2 inches. So that means that about 68% of all kindergarten children will have a height between 37 and 41 inches. Now let's say that we take a sample size of 100 kindergarten children, just one sample, and we want to know where the average of that one sample will fall and what will be the limits of between where that average will fall if we want 90% probability that will be between those two limits. So essentially, we want to be between these two values. We don't know what these values are. That's what we're looking for. If we're looking for 90% probability, of being between those two values of height and that would be the average or the mean of that one single sample. All right, how do we do that? Well again we need to find the z-score and that means we need to find the standard deviation of the sample distribution now that we're given a sample size of 100. So that will be equal to the standard deviation of the population divided by the square root of the sample size. So in this case, it'll be 2 divided by 10 or 0 0.2. So that's the standard deviation for the sample distribution. So now we want to know what the z score is for 45%. So with a standard deviation of 0.2, we want to know the z score. Remember, the z score is the number of standard deviations. And so we want to take 45%, which can be written as 0 0.45, and figure out then what the z-score is equal to, or proportionate to that particular percentage underneath the graph. And of course, we're going to need our table for that. And so we're looking for 45%, 0 0.45, and see what the equivalent z-score is for that. And it looks like it's going to be... Uh, let's see, 1.61234, 1.645. So that corresponds to a z-score of 1.645. That means 1.645 standard deviations to the right and 1.645 standard deviations to the left from the mean. So if the mean is 39, so we get 39 plus z times the standard deviation of our sample distribution, which is equal to 39 plus 1.645 times 0 0.2. Well, we don't need, we need to, well, let's just, let's just make it easier. So we have 1.645 times 0.2, so we get 39 plus 0 0.329, that's essentially 33, so it would be equal to 39.33 inches. So that would be on the high limit, 39.33 inches, and the same amount to the left side, so that means 39 minus z times the standard deviation, which is equal to 39 minus 1.645 times 0 0.2, which is equal to 39 minus 0 0.329, essentially 33, so that's equal to 38.67 inches. So, in other words, there's 90% probability that if we take a sample size of 100, that the average of that sample size will fall between 39.33 and 38.67 inches. And that's how we can interpret that result, and that is how we deal with sampling distributions. So, with these three examples, we should have a pretty good understanding now of how to deal with sample distributions. And that is how it's done. Okay, and that's a wrap for this one.